All right. This is Ms. Lancaster, and this is our intro video on how to set up your notebook. If you do not have a composition book with you today in class, then this will be your homework, and you will need to have it done when you come to class tomorrow. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure if you have not put your name, my name, and science at the, on the front cover of your notebook, you get that done. Now, I have a bucket for each group to share. All right, in it you'll see there's some different materials. There's highlighters, there's scissors, there's glue, there's post-it notes, and today there's one Sharpie. You share this with the people in your group. Now, how do you know who is in your group? You have an index card on your desk. Right now, this index card has a number, it has a color, and it has people's names who are sitting there throughout the day. This is your group number, so you only share with the people who are in this group. The buckets are also numbered. Teachers. So, you are never going to put the scissors, the glue, or highlighters back in any other bucket but yours. So, if you're in group 7, you're only borrowing from group 7. Don't ask somebody in group 3 to hand you something because somebody in your group's using the scissors and you are too impatient. Um, I will loan my materials and share my materials with you as long as you follow my directions for using materials. So if you use more than five drops of glue, then you won't be using my glue. You'll have to bring your own. If you snapping out six and eight staplers every time I pass the stapler around, you will not use my stapler. So um, I share materials as long as you follow my rules. And right now my rules are four people share the same number of materials. And that's how that's going to work. And your buckets are numbered, so you shouldn't have any trouble identifying. For example, the one right here in my hand is, has a one on it. And so, group one shares this one. Now, open your notebook up. You have a notebook that has pockets or folders in it, then your homework folder is right here in your notebook with it. Your course guide stays in your homework folder the entire year. If you have a separate folder for homework, that is fine. Same thing applies. This stays in there for the entire year. So, first thing I want you to do is I want you to find the bottom right-hand corner Please don't do this in Sharpie. Put my Sharpie away after your name's on it. And I want you to number the first five pages. So, one is on the bottom of page one. Two is on the bottom of page two. Three, the bottom of page four. And then your homework tonight is to finish numbering through 50. Don't skip any pages. Notice that you're going to have a binding down the middle of your notebook. The even number is always on the left side. The odd number is always on the right side. The even number is what the teacher gives you. So it's going to be notes. It's going to be handouts of information. It is going to be teacher driven. On the right hand side, it's going to be the output. That's where you are going to do something. In just a minute, we're going to do what's on page two and three. So finish numbering one through five right now and then turn back to page one. Page one is your table of contents. Now, notice that I have the page numbers down. I have the names of the first six things we're going to do. I have the dates. Now, the dates may not be important to you because you are going to write the date on every paper I give you. And if you want full credit when I grade it, the name, the date, and the period has to be filled out. If the name, the date, and the period are not filled out, you will lose points for whatever is missing. That I count that as part of my when I grade assignment. So go ahead and get in the habit of doing that first. I'll also tell you what page number is going to go on in your notebook. So I expect you to go ahead and write that page number down so you can keep your table of contents open and you won't constantly asking me. I will also have it up on the screen most days, so if you don't hear me say it, you can see it. So get in the habit of looking for that so you can keep up with your table of contents. Now, these dates are more for me to keep up with planning, so if you want to include them in that column, that's fine. So right now, on page two, we're going to put some safety terms. On page three, 
you're going to do a brainstorm and I'm going to give you some music and you're going to have to tell me what that music has to do with a lesson on lab safety. And then we're going to do a scavenger hunt looking for different lab equipment in the room. So you can go ahead and write that down for page three. Page four, we will start tomorrow and we're going to do some notes on skills of a scientist and part of the notes will be done for you and part of the notes you will be asked to work on um, for homework over a couple of days. Then um, page five, you're going to get a picture of a scientist and the name of the activity is called What is a Scientist Brainstorm? And then hopefully by Thursday or Friday, we will be able to start our first lab on observation or classification. So if you have not returned that signature page you received on Monday, you won't get to participate in that first lab. So please, please, please bring that back. And then one day next week, and I'm just estimating the dates right now, um, you're going to have a checkup on a dichotomous key. And so that will end up, when we, you get that checkup back graded, it will go on page 6. I'm sorry, page 7. So if you don't get all that down right now, that's okay, as long as you've got page 2, safety terms, and page 3, safety brainstorm and scavenger hunt. Now, Deja and Alex, please return to Ms. Marconi. All right, so on the top of page 3, go ahead and write safety brainstorm. And go ahead and write the sentence, she is playing the song because. And in just a minute, when everybody gets this done, we're going to start. Now, notice I left one, two, three, four, five lines because we're gonna, you're going to do two different things today. One at the beginning, um, one after we talk about the safety terms, the safety scavenger hunt. So if I tell you to leave some space, make sure you leave some space so you have room for the second activity. Now, we're going to stop the video right now. I'm going to leave the picture up of what is going to go on page two and three. I'm going to pass out the materials. So you can get them attached and you're going to put the safety terms on page two. Now notice I have it turned sideways so it fits. If you have a really large notebook you might can turn it um, this way but I want to make sure it all fit and notice that I folded the page to get it all in there and you're going to do that a lot especially if you have a composition book and then at the bottom half of page three you're going to attach the scavenger hunt all right so we're going to stop the video here I'm going to pass out the materials and you and um, your partners are going to share the glue and get this glued in now I know this is not kindergarten, but I do need to remind you that you use glue. If you think about a dice with a five on it, there's a dot in each corner and one in the center, and that's how you should be using glue in here. If you paint the back of your paper with glue, then you're not going to be able to write on it for 24 or 48 hours so it completely dries. If you use a drop in each of the corners and one in the center, you should be able to write on it immediately. So let's get page two and three glued in and then we're going to start our lesson on lab safety.